Welcome back. Cattle producers are always on the lookout for allies outside the industry who can share with consumers the health benefits of beef. Brad Bulla has more on an important beef checkoff funded event aimed at reaching nutritionists and other health influencers to help share the positive story of beef. At first glance, it may look like just another meeting. But this is Live Well 2016, an event funded by the Beef Checkoff and attended by an elite group of health professionals and nutrition communicators. The Live Well participants heard from leading experts on topics ranging from the value of beef in the diet to understanding beef cuts and how cattle are raised. One thing that I learned about beef this week that was really surprising to me was the different cuts of meat and how you can use them in a lot of different culinary applications. And I think that consumers need to hear a little bit more about those lean options and the ways that they can prepare them in their homes. Whether in the kitchen, at a restaurant, or during a presentation, the event gave participants focused time to engage in discussions about beef nutrition, food preparation, and beef production. As I look back over my career the last 20 years, I think, uh, and, and you consider the retail meat case and how it's changed uh, over the last, say, two decades, the consumer is ever more confused by all the variety of offerings in the retail meat case. And so anytime we get the opportunity as faculty from the Institute or as advocates for the industry to share uh, the production side of the industry with groups like this group of bloggers and registered dietitians, we feel like that's time and effort well spent. I believe it's important for dietitians to be able to share this message that we've learned at Live Well about how farmers and ranchers really do care for their animals. So it's important for us to really expand what the real knowledge and science is behind beef and around protein and the needs that Americans have and better help them apply that to their daily practice. I'm Brad Buller reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.